Hello everybody. We're going to make a teapot. Um, I've got some clay here ready and I'm just going to make a video of that so you can watch me. So let's get down to the wheel head where the action is. I'm just going to get the camera into, into position. Hopefully it won't jog around too much. I've got one of these funny little tripods that's That's right, okay, good, right. This is about a kilo and a quarter of clay. I'm just gonna give it a little a little knead here on the on the wheel head. Which you can do on this kind of wheel because my foot down below is stopping the wheel going around. So it's going to be a round teapot which will have a ceramic handle, not a cane handle in this case. So there we are. Good. I want to keep it fairly narrow here at the top. And basically working to a sort of cylindrical basic form at the moment. But when I get to the top here, I'm coming in now not letting the not letting it get wide well remember of course that clay naturally as you lift it up because of the centrifugal force it just wants to open so you have to counteract that by constantly keeping it in spread your water and I'm using my nut doing a sort of knuckle lift here from underneath. I'm belling it out though now at the same time as lifting it. The knuckle lift is a bit more rigid than the finger lift. Just checking that to see if it's still in the picture. Yes, we are. Good. Somebody wrote to me today, uh, today I had an email, or it was one of the comments actually on one of the video clips, saying that when they lifted, the clay seemed to twist and buckle. And what were they doing wrong? I said, well, probably it's probably something, a, a water issue, I thought, more than likely. I mean, it was difficult to know exactly, of course, without seeing somebody actually working, working the clay itself. But I suspected a lot of people see very careless with their watering. They just flick the water on anywhere. And of course, unless the water is completely spread over the whole pot, when you're lifting, you're going to hit a dry spot. Well, there's a good chance you are. So it's very important to
get that right. Right, I'm, I'm belling it out now. Now you can see this flange at the top here which is going to be the place where I'm going to locate the the lid on. So I'm allowing for that at this stage. Well what I mean is I'm, I'm allowing myself clay there to, in order to be able to to do that in a minute. At right now though at this present moment I'm sort of concentrating on the the shape getting the the belly the belly of the teapot where I want and it's kind of looking to me a little bit a little bit tall at the moment I want to, I want to belly it out more this kind of shape is more challenging because you you've got to do it in such a way that the thing doesn't fall if you understand me very full shape you see. And I don't want the belly too low down here otherwise it will... I'm relying on the strength of the curve you see to, to support the pot. It's a bit like the old Roman arc, Roman arch. Uh, this kind of kick wheel is good for this because I can get good control of the speed. Right. I'm going to get off the wheel now and just have a squint at that sideways, see see what where, where we're about. Yeah, well that's not looking too bad. All right. This teapot will be put on the wheel and trimmed again afterwards. Okay, now as I said, I was concentrating earlier on on the, on the lower section of the pot here, getting that right. Because it's the lower section of the pot up to about the halfway mark, which is supporting the rest of the pot. So you don't want to make that weak. You want to make that strong enough to, to withhold the the weight of the clay that above it. Yeah, so. Alright, okay, well what I gotta do now is concentrate on the top bit here. So I'm going to in fact pull this out a bit because I've got a bit of excess clay here. Well it's always better to have a bit of excess, isn't it, rather than not enough. See, I can close it in there like this a bit. So. Right, now I can turn my finger over like that using the back of my fingernail to cut in a groove where I'm going to make the change so see that like that so that's where the lid is going to sit now don't want to make that too too much of a mean lip just there I'm just pulling up the clay there a bit so it's a decent generous flange there for the for the lid to locate on oh, I'm not sure, sure about the shape of it at the moment it needs to be a bit fuller here you see it's it's just needs to come to be a bit fuller there I'm trying to fill you in, you see, on all the little details that go through my mind as I'm making this teapot. 
So I'm trying to fill it out there now. Can you see I'm raising up this bit here? See, it's, it's all about shape, isn't it? Getting the shape right. Now then, has that made any improvement? I don't have my my mirror. That's why I have to keep getting off the wheel just to. Yeah. Okay. I think that's that has filled it there where I wanted it to. Right. Okay. So, it's going to get my my leather here. I'm going to leather that on the top there. What I need is a piece of newspaper. Oh, here it is. A piece of newspaper. I'm going to do the newspaper trick to get this off. No, I haven't thrown this on a bat. I'm just going to stick it underneath there. Just a token sticking because... Ah, thank you. My assistant has... Yes, it's not too bad. Remember, you need to clean sometimes a bit of the slurry off of the lower part of the pot just to... make it easier to get hold of. Now I've got a little bit of newspaper here because I'm going to put a little bit of newspaper over the over the the mouth of the teapot, which is going to stop the air coming out of the teapot when I lift it. Because when you lift the pot off the wheel, if it deforms, air has to come out. So if you trap the air in there with a piece of paper like that, and then you'll be able to lift it off. So it's just going to cut him off. And I've got myself a bat here ready. We're going to lift the teapot now. Hopefully that should lift off without too much fuss. There we are. That is the teapot body. When you take the paper off, take it off carefully. Okay. There we are. Right. So there's the body, and we're going to go on now to make. We're going to go on now to make the the lid and the spout. So stay tuned. <laughs> Keep practicing. Okay. Right. Bye for now.